If you can't make it out to one of these events, you can watch the full eclipse coverage right here on ABC starting at 10 a.m. on Monday. If you're planning to catch the spectacle in person, you do need to be careful. 10 News anchor Renee Nelson has the damage that the eclipse can actually do to your eyes. Leading up to the total solar eclipse, optometrists like Dr. David Ross are hoping people will avoid past mistakes. We've had a similar event years ago, and we personally saw two patients with what's called solar retinopathy. They had partial burns to the center part of their retinas. Looking directly at the sun for even just a few seconds can lead to temporary or even permanent vision loss. It's truly very strong visible light that actually cooks the cells in the retina. On top of visible light, the sun's UV rays can also cause cataracts, macular degeneration, or eye cancer. And you might not even realize there's a problem. In the retina, there are no pain receptors, so people who are actually damaging their eyes at the time have no clue that this damage is occurring. Minutes, hours, a couple of days later, they find that their vision is blurred in the center. Once the damage is done, there is nothing doctors can do. There is no known approved treatment for the damage that does occur. It's just going to be time and hope. Dr. James Soule is an astronomer at the School of Physics at Georgia Tech. He recommends viewing the eclipse through a pinhole projector or buying glasses with dense solar filters. These, these special solar glasses are able to block out all light at basically all wavelengths to a point where only the sun is the bright enough object to be seen through these, which is about 10,000 times or so more than a typical pair of sunglasses. So even if you took like three or four or five sunglasses, that's very dangerous. Renee Nelson, 10 News.